Hey guys, um, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to do a yellow dungeon, alright? This is yellow dungeon number one, and uh, as stated in the expedition, I'm using uh, my good gear. Um, the gear I always use for yellow dungeon. So, um, and really that's all I operate is uh, in yellow dungeon. Um, so, if, and it's obviously very safe. Uh, except for the occasional idiots that walk in uh, when you're in the middle of it and try to disrupt what you're doing. Uh, which can happen a lot, but again, it's still very safe, right? So, uh, this is my gear that gets me through it quickly. So this is yellow dungeon number one, and we'll do a summary with uh, all the loot that I get later. So, um... I think you've seen this in the uh, expedition when I did uh, the gear summary on what I'm using. Um, so it works really fast, obviously, and it has ridiculous uh, attack damage. So in these dungeons, um, I have several um, AOE area of damage. Uh, I really don't have a lot of fear uh, against any of these guys. And I use my um, lead in with the Q, right? And in a combination of the other two uh, type of um, area of attack, which is the, um, the W and the uh, E. So when I get this buff, I just fly through because it's uh, it increases my damage dramatically, right? And my move speed. So uh, with my movement speed and damage increase dramatically, uh, it just helps me cut through everything really fast, as you can see. So with my speed booster, it's even faster. Only problem is I am. Uh, this is a very high uh, mana demand for this type of gear setup, so I always have the um, the men room for, for you know mana refresh, a quicker mana refresh. So again, no fear even against uh, two mini bosses. problem is the man that I was And I'll go straight into cooldown mode uh, to get my uh, more potent attack back up. So finish them pretty quickly. And that loot was just okay. So I don't like to waste my D, which is uh, mediation, uh, because it does really increase my uh, cooldown and gets everything back up relatively quickly. So as you can see, this great axe is awesome. It melts uh, guys really quickly, and you shouldn't have any fear at all with um, multiple guys. Um, it's really made for that, so. You know, even against five, six guys here, uh, no problem. Right? And then I have my uh, alternative, which is my W. Uh, Raging Blade. And I would spam my Q. Uh, my Rending Swing. 
to basically uh, slowly finish them off uh, because it has that bleed feature. It's great against bosses. So I, I like mediation. Um, gets everything cooled down and back up quickly. To me, that's almost a must-have with some of this, some of these setups. Getting close to the end. I want to make sure my mana is um, back up. And we're about six minutes into the, uh, the dungeon. So it's going through pretty quickly. And that's, that's, that's what you want, right? That's really what you want. How quickly I was able to melt. Ah, that's small crew. So once he jumps away, I can go clean him up pretty quickly. So I activated my uh, my cape. Uh, this is also an additional boost, right? Increase your damage by 50% if your health drops below 70%. Uh, so that's that's a great item to have. Especially when you're, uh, you know, trying to increase your damage. It's always about damage with this setup. Uh, as you've seen from my, my gear summary before, you know, it's very much predicated on damage. Like for these two guys, I just hit them once and then do my Q and they're dead. So, and these guys melt really easily too. And I just want to make sure everything's up. And my mana's at 100. Uh, not not that I'm really dependent on it, but um, this boss will go very quickly if everything is available to you. So I, I usually do a, a defenseless rush. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. And we'll just hit him right away. And spam all my other items. You see that it, oh, that it goes uh, pretty fast. Alright, especially with uh, my cape activated there, yeah. What? Took care of him really quickly. You can do the replay play to see how much damage. So, pretty decent loot. Uh, let's see here. Okay, that's just a, a crafting item. All right, so that dungeon number one, it took all of maybe eight minutes to get through uh, with this type of gear setup. And uh, defenseless rush is, is great for me. Um, you know, it gives you a speed boost, but more importantly, it gives you a 20% damage boost. So it's damage on top of damage on top of damage. Uh, that's the key. All right. So that's dungeon number one, and we'll see you at dungeon number two and dungeon number three, and then the summary of uh, three dungeon average loot take uh, that I'll do at the end. Thanks for watching.